Hey guys, what's going on? I have another opening. And these are the ones that I love uh, finding. Or the old... Uh, sorry, I just drank some soda. That's so rude. Uh, I just uh, picked up a 20... I think it's 15... Um, Panini Prism Football. And I know it's only going to be a quick video, really small opening but i love this stuff i tell people whenever i come across the older packs i just try and grab them up uh, i think it sells for about 10 but it was on clearance for uh i think eight dollars so you don't save a lot but it's still pretty cool to find the older packs uh the draft 2015 for me was a pretty good year i know he didn't really pan out or hopefully pan out yet but i think it was or i'm pretty sure it was Jameis winston's um, rookie year, and I'm a big Florida State guy, or ACC altogether, but mainly Florida State. I, f I feel like in basketball and football, ACC is uh, my favorite uh, division or conference. Uh, so, four packs per card, and then you get one bonus. I think these are red, white, and blue. You get three cards in there. So hopefully we get some more short prints in here some more color and autograph i think i might have hit an autograph in, in one of these last time i did it um or a really nice uh i can't remember his name todd Gurley, i think it was so i think it's todd Gurley's rookie year also uh, i think i opened it for super bowl uh bishop Sh sankey uh des bryant that's pretty cool when he was on the cowboys and Ty Montgomery rookie die cut and that's the other thing too some people have asked um, and some people might not know a die cut is this where it's cut into a different shape rather than the traditional squ uh, square or rectangle and uh, I meant to do a video about that but uh, since it happened to come up and I'm thinking about it that is a die cut because it's shaped differently or that's at least what I'm told, but I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Uh, and it's a rookie card. Die cut. And Vic Beasley for the Falcons. So that was a nice pack. Got a die cut. Can't go wrong with that. Rookie die cut. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders for the Broncos. And Jerry Rice, legendary, so that's a good one. And... Wow, how crazy is this? A Cowboys red, white, and blue autograph. This is why I tell people, and, and I don't want to go off uh, topic or, or make this video out to be like a 30-minute video. I tell people, there's no way that I would know that this was in there. When it's the last pack that's sitting on the shelf... And it's the older ones. I don't know what it is. It's just if it's just something in the universe, how karma works or whatever. And I know I'm probably making it over dramatic. And some people don't like that when you're honest. But to get the last pack or the only pack that's on the shelf that's probably been sitting there for a while. Um, most people be some people say they want the newer packs. They want to get the 2019, the newer stuff. But to get the one pack that's sitting there, and I don't even do a lot of football like I used to do. To get a Byron Jones rookie, red, white, and blue. And I think I have a thing sitting around here, luckily. Um, autograph. Like my favorite team, a rookie card plus a red, white, and blue uh, is, is pretty awesome. Fortunately... <laughs> I don't watch football as I used to. Uh, I, I watch it here and there. I just know that I, I used to love the Cowboys like most people. They're off and on. Dak and Zeke are really good. And this is 2015. I think he's still there, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it kind of like negates everything I just said about the Cowboys, how much I love them. Then I'm like, oh wait, is he still on the team? So, like I said, whenever you go to the store, and I don't get a lot of fat packs... As it is, but when I do find ones that I love, Prism, uh, I always try and get them. The older packs and stuff like that. Uh, Jawan Edwards. So that's a really nice find. I just feel like 
And you go on, tw I don't know if you guys do it, but you go on Twitter, you go on Instagram, everybody has a negative attitude. And I just feel like it's good karma. You're like, you know, what? I'm going to get the old pack that's been sitting there for a while. Nobody probably wants it, you know, and people want the newer stuff. And I just feel like if you do good and I'm a good person in general, and I feel, I, I know it's, it is what you believe. People have said that recently that like, I'm not saying people, this is going to go down the wrong path. But, like, I feel like I'm pretty much a good person in life. And I feel like you do get rewarded. Um, people are like, you get really nice hits. And uh, they wish they had the luck that I have. I'm like, first of all, I buy a lot of packs. And not every pack is, is going to be a great pack. But I feel like when I do... And it's just maybe my own self overthinking it. I'm like, when I do get a really nice hit... I'm like, I'm overall a pretty nice person. I believe in karma. I believe if you do good, that it'll come back to you. And when I get, like, a nice hit like this, I just feel like I, I you know, I try, I go on Twitter and I try and, like, be nice. And I hate when people kind of just start trolling people on Instagram and are just so negative. And I'm I'm the person, and maybe because I'm older, I try and just be positive and, and, and spread positive activity on social media and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter not to say that I'm 100% perfect but like I just feel when you do good it comes back to you um so whenever I see like stuff like this I'm like you know what and I've been I, I admit and I agree with a lot of people that I've been getting really nice hits but I just feel like it's in my mind I, I, it makes me sleep I guess a little bit better that like knowing that I, I do good and I try and do and say the right thing and I feel like it'll always come back to you uh, in a positive way. Anyways, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for spreading this video out pretty long. Uh, Terry Bradshaw, uh, Mortavius Bryant, and Eric Kendrick's uh, Red Parallel Chrome. And that's the other thing too. Uh, rookie card. But... Uh, so that's a really nice one. An added bonus to get towards the end. And a Shane Card Carden. I think one of these days I'm going to really sit down and just go through all these players and see where they're at, what teams they're on now. Uh, oh, which reminds me, if you're still watching this, <laughs> thanks for staying to the end. I am still planning or still want to do fantasy football this year i i had a little bit more people interested than i thought so i think this time around i think i only did 10 teams i think maybe you can do 15 so i'll have to start looking into a fantasy this year and that's the other thing too you can always comment if you're interested um but i will make a separate video eventually coming soon because i hear like um pre-seasons actually coming up pretty soon uh, preseason games and, and stuff like that so we'll get an idea and I'll start doing fantasy and maybe I'll do it earlier this year so last time I, I had one full league then I had a, a second league with a couple people in it and didn't really pan out um, but this year again I, I want to do another one maybe make it a bigger league and I learned a lot it's been a while since I did fantasy and I did learn a lot uh, from doing it last year that Truthfully, your quarterback doesn't matter at all. I mean, that's people have said it. I didn't believe people, but it happened to me last year. And it happened to me a couple of years ago when I had Aaron Rodgers. Like, it, it really does matter. It really doesn't matter what quarterback you have. If you have good receivers, a good running back, good defense, defense and kicker, uh, you can always rotate your quarterback every week uh, by matchups and stuff like that. And that's something I'm thinking I'm going to do this year is like I'm not going to go for the best quarterback till you know really late and people always say that and I just kind of learned I mean unless you get a really I, I don't even know who's really really dependable I think Aaron Rodgers might be it but he might just get hurt again um so anyways that's another thing that's coming up is fantasy football I uh, do want to do that again so a quick recap uh got a couple rookie cards um the always obviously the autograph is amazing. Um Jerry Rice loved him uh growing up watching him play. Even though he was uh enemies of the Cowboys, but you gotta respect him. Vic Beasley. 
the die cut. So this is a really good pack. And I didn't even, I'm like, I'm like talking out of my <laughs> butt. And I totally forgot that I have the other pack to open. I'm like wasting time. So anyways, it's going to be a packed video anyways. So, I mean, we could still get some nice ones in here. Oh, here's a good one. I think I have this one already, though. Walter Payton. Red, white, and blue. Doug Baldwin. That's a pretty good one. I know he's a good receiver. And a rookie, red, white, and blue, Amir Abdullah. I'm not going to do it in this video because I feel like I already searched out. Or now would be the time. But I like seeing where they went to college. Even though this is about four years old. Eric Kendricks, UCLA, Byron Jones, UConn. I like to make mental notes. This isn't going to say on there. Draft in the third round. Stanford. Vic Beasley, I think my, uh, Clemson. Okay, I thought it was Miami. Uh, Juwan Edwards, Ball State. Shane Carden, East Carolina. I know some people that went to East Carolina. So anyways, a really nice pack. Only cost me 8 bucks, and uh, I did pretty well with it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.